myself and the geese my ears. So it's a nice one. Guess what? You're on candid camera. Oh, great. <laughs> I just want to let you know these guys are the funniest. They're the funny. Can you say a letter? Say, Heshi Freed and Rabbi Rabs are the two funniest Jews Rab ever. Heshi, no. First of all, I know this about Heshi because I, I saw him and I was cracking up. You, I know this because he told me. I automatically trust him he's sitting at the same table. Okay. It wouldn't happen if it wasn't, there was nothing to... Because a comedian... Plus you're with somebody at the table who thinks I'm funny already. You already also, know. Also... Yeah. And, and, so and, there you go. That's why. What's up? Heshi Freed from Satire.net. Coming to you from L.A. Beach. I don't know where this place come from, but I'm telling you it's awesome. Fish grill. And this is, they're not paying for this, because they just screwed up my order, and it took them like 15 minutes to fix it, and still I'm being nice to them. I think about for him that I'm really, uh, you know, kind of, uh, one of my things, I guess, I have, I have McGill Attention Deficit Disorder, <laughs> and, but every time they're landing, you know, if you miss one word, you're not counted. So, the whole McGill, I'm sitting there, I'm like, did I just miss that word? I don't remember if I heard that word. And I, I can't really, like, fathom if I've ever actually been go to the mitzvah of Shilla. Although last year I heard it from a woman, which was totally, like, a different experience. I am Orthodox, but, you know, it was, it was left-wing modern Orthodoxy. We're trying to include everyone. And it was, you know, I definitely heard every word, because she had kind of, like, a hot voice. But I didn't look, so it's not Kolish, technically. So, like, you know, that's fine. So. And the guy who's filming me is an interesting fellow himself. Let's turn the camera around for you. I know, I know. It's, you're all getting seasick. This is... Rabs. He's Rabbi Rabs, and he's a professional comedian who actually has smicha. As you see on stage tonight, it's not an act or a gimmick or a costume. It's real. That's why I talk like this. With that annoying sing-songy voice. Because I'm an orthodox rabbi. And matter of fact, I'm Rabbi Rabs. I'm a professional comedian and I perform regularly every single week for five straight years at the world famous comedy store in Hollywood on Sunset Strip. I've played and performed in all three rooms there. I've performed in the Laugh Factory and in several different world famous improvs in different cities. In addition, I've also have credits, Oscar credits, because I've performed in a Academy Award winning film. Thank you very much. And I've also been on primetime television featured in a comedy show. Now, here between the Hulk and the Rabbi. Rabbi looking strong and steady. Hulk swaying quite a lot. Maybe he's not such a superhero after all. Basically, if you've never heard of me, it's one of two things. Either you've been living in a cave for the last 10 years, or you've had to put up with a repressive Jewish mother. You know, this guy gets up there, and you know, people will say like, oh my God, he's cursing, he's a Chil Hashem. But in me, I'm like, you know, non-Jews or secular Jews don't, they, if anything, they're thinking like, wow, he's Orthodox, yet he's cool, and he's normal, and he's not this crazy religious guy, yet he has the religious look. So that means that he's able to be orthodox and live a normal, secular sounding or whatever life and be in tune to pop culture and be in tune to things. So someone may say, oh, maybe I could be religious. The reason why I like Heshi is he reminds me of me like 20 years ago when I was in Yeshiva. That was me. I was like the guy in the dorm and I would like stand there and just like make fun of everything that happened that day and just like rant about everything. You wear light-colored plants in Lakewood, man? It's a freaking pogrom. They'll carry you out, they'll drag you behind a car, and then they'll leave you for dead on the side of the road. Or maybe they'll sell you like they sold Yosef. Yosef was sold. He wore the colored coat. I have a lot of fun watching him because he reminds me of me. The only difference between him and me is that when I was 20 years ago standing in the ranting, I was in my underwear. But the fish here, let me just show you something right here. Mind if I open up your, your uh, thing? Okay. Go for Look it. Look at this. 
This doesn't exist in the from community. Fish never flakes off. Do you know why? Because whenever you buy fried something in the from community, it's always some pre-packaged golds or some sort of ungers BS stuff like the fries, the onion rings. Have you ever had fresh onion rings in a from restaurant? Pesci's really into the food here. He's into the fish, but it's not so much the food here. It's the atmosphere. I really, really like coming to this place. It's the only kosher restaurant in the world that's right on the beach. I mean, this is unbelievable. It's the most amazing thing in the world. We're right on Malibu Beach. But um, fried fish is amazing here. I got the, uh, look at this, 10 bucks, man. That ain't bad. You get a full musky grilled salmon steak. And I got my fries, skinny fries, very important. You know, Kosher Delight banned these skinny fries because they were probably on sneers and it reminded people, <laughs> look at this, it reminds people of having a good figure and, you know, women don't have a good figure in the Shabbos robe. And I understand completely that's fine. And, and the Kosher Delight has a little sog, but I mean, I, I haven't even tried the Kosher yet. Mmm, good Kosher Delight. Oh my God. That's how I know I'm in freaking California. You know how I'm in California? how you know I'm not really so frummy. There are fennel seeds in the coastal. People in New York don't use fennel. They don't know what fennel is. People in New York think you think using spinach is progressive. Oh, hey, uh, Shmuley, you know, we had for Shabbos, we had the spinach and the tomato and the mango salad. Oh, you're so cool. You know, we had, we had sushi and then we had salmon and dill sauce. That's like the cool frummy foods. But here, fennel. I'm all about the fennel. Right above this place is the surf is the surf shack, the Malibu surf shack. Okay, and that's like up there, like how cool is this? Like all the goyim are upstairs, and then like downstairs you have like the kosher restaurant. You're never gonna see anything like that anywhere in the world. I mean, how cool is that? I am one of the few people that actually is a regular patron of both places. And I feel just as comfortable going upstairs as I do downstairs eating. Actually, the truth is I probably feel more comfortable upstairs with the surfers than I do down here because they don't, like I walk in, I'm like wearing a yarmulke or whatever, they don't really care. It doesn't bother them. I come down here and, I'm, and I, I got my surfboard on my car and I've got like, you know, flip-flops on my, on my feet and the frummies down here, they're not comfortable with it. So I'm more comfortable, I think, upstairs. So that's like the one thing I... In fact, my one claim to fame here is I'm the one guy who definitely does the crossover between the two places, and I'm more comfortable up there than down there. Um, I performed in the Laugh Factory. I've been in an Academy Award winning. winning I've been yeah, try that again. <laughs> Can I start at the top? Basically, if you've never heard of me, then either you've been hiding in a cave for the last 10 years, or you've been growing up with a repressing, a repressive Jewish mother. I just fucked up the last line. Let me try that again. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I, hide, cause I know, agree, I agree. Every single from me, every single from what, what's the matter, what's the matter? It's getting long, so go oh, on. Okay. You know what, let's take it back to you. Let's go some <laughs> Ten and a half minutes long. Is it really? Yeah. You gotta really edit that down. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll edit it down. It's already too long for YouTube, huh? Yeah. No, I figure I have an editing machine. Hey, oh yeah. Back on this guy, he's eating. Yeah, just give me a chance. Yeah. So what do you like best that, about LA? That, that's the part that should actually be on the video the most. With what? So should I edit this? No, like I, yeah, I'm gonna edit it. All right. <laughs> oh, you want the behind <laughs> the scenes? Okay, yeah. Don't. <laughs> that's how I do it because I have no idea how to edit. Right.